Hello there, my name is Ismas. Welcome to another Blender tutorial. So today we're going to be kickstarting off a new Blender training series uh, looking at the new Blender uh, application. Uh, so previously we have been using uh, Blender 2.79 uh, but uh, they are about to release Blender 2.8 which is almost a completely overhaul of the entire application. Uh, so yeah, you might be familiar with this version of Blender but uh, uh, you might also need uh, to look at a few tutorials before you get into this blender 2.8 because they have changed a lot of things about this application you might think it's an entirely new uh, 3d application uh, so if you want to get uh, this version of blender obviously you just go to blender.org and uh, you will find uh, the application there you just go under download and uh, below you will you will see uh, depending on when you are watching this obviously uh, because after uh, this after the, the development of this has been finalized, you will, you will be able to download it directly here as the official uh, application. Uh, but uh, for now, you can just find it under here uh, in the latest experimental builds. Yeah, so this series, I'm going to try and uh, produce at least one tutorial for every day, for, for each day, uh, every day, yeah. Uh, but uh, and, uh, the way I want to do it, I don't just want to go over every other menu item or every other tool you see here uh, because that's a bit cumbersome and uh, it doesn't i don't think it's very efficient uh, for you because uh, sometimes you just want to do something simple and uh, you might know whatever i'm trying to show you the other things i'm trying I'm, I'm showing you but uh, you want to uh basically let me show you what i'm going to do so like in this tutorial i want to show you how to use modifiers and uh, what we're going to be looking at how to use modify how we how we have been using modifiers in uh, uh, blender 2.79 uh, and uh, how they have been how they can be used uh, in blender 2.8 uh, uh, so and today what we are going to be looking at uh, is the bevel modifier both the bevel and the sub -surf modifier uh, so uh, I'm doing this. I'm doing it like this so that, in case you're doing something and uh, you just want to look at, you just want to look up on uh, how you do, uh, say the bevel, how you use the bevel modifier in Blender 2.8. You don't have to go through an entire video that uh, introduces you to the, to the interface. You just find exactly what you need and uh, go from there. So, yeah, let's let's dive in. Uh, so. Uh, in Blender 2.8, basically the steps have been are still the same, but uh, are the placements where the buttons are is different. So let me do it in alpha, and maybe I can show you how we, it has how we have been doing it in Blender 2.7 uh, because there are still people who still want to use Blender 2.7 because of its stability and what. But uh, yeah, you can already see from the interface that uh, you don't have uh, these arrows anymore uh, but uh, if you want to get them uh, you have the tools here so if you have the se the cursor uh, the cursor tool selected you won't have those points you will just have the 3d cursor so if you want to have those gizmo or control points you just select one of these tools here so you can see we have the move tool we have the rotate we have the scale so let's select this uh, the move so what I want to showcase is uh, using bevel modifiers in uh, the bevel modifier in uh, in blender so we have uh, this cube here i'll duplicate it shift d that shortcut is still the same so shift d still du still makes a duplicate so we can move it to the uh, right there and uh, make another copy and um, maybe a fourth one so if we go to edit mode by hitting tab the shortcut is still the same uh, you can see if we hit control control tab <coughs> we are no longer getting this the edit menu that we were getting in blender 2.7 so you see if we hit control tab sorry if we are in edit mode and hit control tab you get this select mode a menu but uh, now we are getting this and uh, this pie menu uh, so <coughs> if you want to change to vertices between vertices and uh, edges and uh, faces you you no longer have to 
this shortcut is no longer available for you you just select uh, those these from up here so you have the vertex selection you have the edge selection and you have the face selection and you can see the vertex the edge and uh, face selection don't really look that different uh, because they removed uh, this dot here for the faces uh, but uh, yeah <coughs> so the way you do there are different ways to make a bevel in a blender uh, the first one is using uh, destructive ways of, of modeling so destructive ways of modeling is just a way of modeling that doesn't allow you to make edits uh, of what you have done so let me just show you how so the way we have been doing it you just select the edge go to edge select select an uh, edge you want to bevel and hit ctrl b uh, the shortcut is still the same and then move to bevel that edge and you can see we have that uh just to make sure that uh, we see everything more clearly uh we have these new new shading uh, tools uh so all shading modes uh you see we have the wireframe and uh, you can see it's in wireframe but uh it, we can see through that wireframe uh, if you don't want to see through that wireframe we have this button here but uh, let's keep it there uh, we also have uh, this shading we have the solid shading have texted mode we have uh, this I think it's called meta cup is it the meta cup okay, I'm not sure which one I think this is rendered I think so uh, the shading I want to show I want to be using so that we see these bevels and the edges cl more clearly uh, is when you select this uh, solid shading you have these sh uh, these other shading modes and uh, you can select meta cup uh, and uh, down here you have the option to see to show cavity to show the cavities and that just it just gives a highlight to those edges there so that we can see them more clearly and uh, and uh, just to see the different shapes as well we can go to shading here and turn on random materials random colors for the different objects uh, so that we can see what we are doing so this was one way to bevel uh, another way if you select all edges by hitting a if you hit a once you can select everything to unselect instead of hitting a again you have to hit alt a to deselect and a to select all alt a to deselect so if we hit a to select all edges we can hit ctrl b to have that bevel it's still the same thing here but uh, this time we just beveled every edge that is on the mesh and uh, but uh, with only two loops or with just one re resolution one amount of resolution uh, so if you want to bevel this with more resolution than this you, you can also do the same step just go to edit mode ctrl b to bevel and uh, you can use your middle mouse wheel to add more resolution so you can see we have that I uh, see I'm trying to pan around this scene uh, like uh, because in this version of blender you could use shift to move up and down or control to move horizontally you just hold down control and then use the middle mouse wheel but uh, that is no longer applicable in this version so they just give you this hand tool here that you can use to pan around which I think is a cool option as well if you remember how to use it uh, so you also have this perspective icon now I think they are now trying to switch from uh, blender being more being heavy uh, being uh, based heavily on shortcuts to act to having buttons that you can press on directly uh, because previous versions of blender you had to know every shortcut to to work faster in blender now they are, they're giving buttons for every shortcut we used to have so what we have been doing here was destructive uh, modeling uh, basically if we wanted to change the bevel width here for this there's no way we, we 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 don't we no longer have that option uh 
to do that because it's already uh, baked into the mesh. Uh, but uh, they, there is a, another way to make the, to have the same effects we have done here using using a non-destructive method uh, that you can go in and change things like uh, the bevel width or resolution. Uh, so <coughs> let's do that. And uh, the way we do that is by using modifiers. So let's get this cube here and uh, try to recreate uh, this bevel here. So let's start by this. Uh, let's start with this middle one because it's much easier than this. Be uh, because if I start here, I'll just show you another option that I'll, s I'll be skipping ahead. So the modifiers are still in the same place. So under this, I think it's a rage. Uh, icon so you just go to that and then select the modifier uh, so the we want to look at the bevel modifier and you can see right away if we apply it you can see we have the same effect here uh, but uh, now we have control over the width of the bevel and the resolution so the resolution if we increase the resolution we we'll get uh, the same effect that we have here so I'll just duplicate this and uh, bring back these two uh, resolution of one and maybe increase reduce increase the width of the bevel so to create uh, this bevel where it's only on one edge let's shift duplicate this delete uh, this bevel uh, so let's add another bevel let's add the bevel again uh, so to be able to control what vertices what edges have the bevel uh, we can change from limit method uh, change the limit met method from none to wait and this will allow us to set to give up to give the the edges we want to have a bevel uh, a weight and this will give uh, that that edge a bevel weight a bevel width depending on the weight we give it uh, so we can select <coughs> after changing this to after changing the limit method to weight we can select the edge we want say this and go to mesh. Uh, I think it's called mesh. Let's see. Let's see. No, it's in the edge. Then edge data. Then bevel weight. Then you can up here. Let me first undo. Up here, you will see the bevel weight we are applying as we move the three at uh, the at uh, cursor. So select the edge you want. Go to edge edge data then bevel weight and you can see now we are giving it a bevel weight of one and uh, if we go out of edit mode you can see that has been applied now now we just need to control that from here we can control the bevel width the resolution by increasing the segments and other things like the profile so you can see make it insert so there's no way we can edit this because it's already baked into uh, the <coughs> it's already applied to the mesh itself so maybe you can move the vertices around but uh, you can see it's much easier to use the modifier. Uh, so yeah, this is the type of uh, these are the type of tutorials I wanted to make. Uh, so every day I'll try to produce at least one tutorial uh, explaining how we have been doing things in Blender 2.5, 2.2.79, 2 and uh, how they have, have been how they have been changed in this version. So let's try to achieve the same things in. Uh, in Blender 2.79. So again, I'll just for this I'll duplicate again these three times. And if I want to show you the faces, I'll just go to this here. Turn on wireframe for all of these. So the first one, you go to edge mode, control B to bevel that. For this we selected everything using A, then Ctrl B to bevel everything. For this, let's first make a copy of this. 
for this we did control b but increase the resolution by using the middle mouse so let's bring this here let's again start with here to make the same effect here we just add a bevel modifier so bevel modifier increase the width shift d to duplicate it uh, to achieve this you just increase the resolution by increasing the width the segments so let's duplicate this again bring it up here remove this bevel modifier and then add the bevel modifier again so <coughs> to set we need to set the bevel weight the limit method to bevel weight to weight and now we go to edit mode go to edge mode and then select the, the edge you want to apply the weight to then control e then bevel weight you can see we have that and now we can increase the width or the resolution or invert the profile <coughs> yeah so those are the steps uh, i think if you want to you can find this as so for the we used a shortcut control e to bring out the bevel weight but uh, you can find that under mesh and i think edges and uh, bevel weight so in blender 2.9 2.79 it was mesh edge mesh edge edges then bevel weight or using the shortcut the shortcut control e to bring up the edges options and then bevel weight but uh, in blender uh, 2.8 that is in uh, is under instead of mesh is under edge directly so we have now a separate menu for edges so and then edge edge data then bevel weight and it doesn't have a shortcut as of yet at least to my own knowledge if you hit ctrl a you don't find or you can find it under edge data again down here instead of being just here so edge data bevel weight and still you can still apply the same modifier here bevel and the changes to bevel weight and you will still get that yeah so that's it uh, if you found this useful make sure to leave a like subscribe and uh, you can uh, let me know anything you want to learn uh, or just give me some comments about what you think and uh, yeah so thank you